Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to leave their $4.5 meters country pad Prince Harry and Meghan are reportedly planning to leave their cozy $4.5 million Cotswolds home in March after struggling to afford the upkeep. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly planning to move out from their $4.49 million Cotswolds love nest within weeks. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex took up a two-year lease on the four-bed converted farmhouse before their wedding last year, reports Sunday, but they have apparently struggled to afford the upkeep on the heritage-listed country retreat, the Daily Mail reported. A source told the paper the royal couple have found it difficult to pay the upkeep of two properties, especially while $5.39 million building works are underway at their soon-to-be permanent residence at Frogmore Cottage in Berkshire. Harry and Meghan will have to pay for the fixtures and fittings, with taxpayers footing the rest of the bill. But the Daily Mail also reported a separate source said the move was due to security reasons. Isolated Retreat Meghan and Harry were said to have regarded the Cotswolds Boltel as more of a home than Harry's former Nottingham Cottage bachelor pad in Kensington Palace. A friend of the royal couple said of their countryside home, it's a fabulous place with stunning views and extraordinarily private. It's set in a small bowl of beautiful countryside so is not overlooked in any way. Meghan adores the area. She and Harry love walking the dogs there, and they can entertain their friends in complete solitude. Hosting the Listers, the real reason Meghan didn't go to Kate's birthday party The Duchess of Cambridge threw a huge party last weekend but Meghan and Harry were nowhere to be seen now we know why. Let's all agree, the Duchess of Cambridge deserves a drink or three. It has been a big year for the woman formerly known as Kate Middleton. Not only did she give birth to her third child, the mysterious Prince Louis who has only been photographed twice, but she has had to contend with a veritable tsunami of publicity putting her against her newish sister-in-law, the Duchess of Sussex. So, when it came time for Kate to celebrate her 37th birthday earlier this month, it is only fair that Kate knock back some champers or a vast glass of pain at Grigio. The celebration was held at Anmer Hall, the ten-bedroom Norfolk pile that she and Wills call home. Well, aside from their 20-room Kensington Palace joint, a few days before her actual birthday. On the guest list were a raft of long-time Wills and Kate mates, all of whom are godparents to their tiny, photogenic kids. Lady Laura Mead and her husband James, who are also Norfolk neighbors, were there, along with school friend turned interior designer Amelia Jardine Patterson, who is reported to have helped Kate buy all that, we're guessing, chintz for both of her houses. Reports suggest the group enjoyed lunch, which we are just going to assume was appropriately jolly. However, curiously not their squaffing Yorkshire puddings were Meghan and Harry. Much has been made of the fact the royal couple were no-shows at Kate's party and their absence was taken as proof of the lingering chiller relations between the brothers and their wives. But that's not the case at all. It turns out that Meghan and Harry weren't at Kate's shindig because they were out of the country on a secret holiday. According to Hello, the Sussexes ditch Britain's frosty winter for an international joint following the Royal Chrissy celebrations at Sandringham. Their actual destination is not known, however this time last year, the ginger charmer and the former actress are reported to have flown to Norway for a luxe getaway. Other royal vacation destinations for the duo have included the south of France, Jamaica and Botswana. Very nice indeed. At least both Meghan and Kate should have a fairly relaxed start to 2019. No official engagements have been announced for either Duchess for the next two months. Though the suit star is expected to be giving birth in March so she probably has enough on her plate, maybe there's time for another glass of vino after all, Kate? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.